we learned many different types of the numbers like uh, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers and so many other type of the numbers we learned. And together if you took those all numbers then the complete those all number you know together in a set if you put those all numbers then that numbers are called real numbers all right real numbers uh, for example very simply I, I want to give you real numbers is like 1 2 minus uh, let's say minus 2 minus 3 4 uh, minus 5.4 3.222 6.77 you know root 2 root 5 uh, root 1 root 9 whatever you see this this every number that you can imagine that you have seen all you know those all numbers these all you know these 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 all type of the numbers together forms real numbers whether that is natural whole numbers integers rational irrational doesn't matter this all set of the numbers is called real numbers and now let's come to the algebra for a while you know uh, same here i'm telling negative number as well as positive number you know if we have uh, equation let's say x minus 4 equals to 0 then this gives directly x equals to 4 and if we have equation let's say x plus 4 equals to 0 then that time the x is going to be let me add here it's x plus 4 all right I'm subtracting here also 4 and I'm subtracting here also 4 so that time is 4 for cancel up and x I'm getting as a negative 4 so so what do you see that a, a number is positive as well as negative all right now let's took in another uh, equation let's say x square minus 4 equals to 0 then that time x is going to be uh, 4 both of them I'm adding plus 4 all right so x square is going to be 4 and x square is plus minus 2 whole square because uh, plus 2 times I mean square of the plus 2 if you if you square plus 2 you'll get 4 if you square minus 2 you'll get 4 so that's why x is here plus 2 as well as minus 2 right and my dear friend now here is a big question for you can you solve this equation x square plus 4 equals 0 now let's try to solve this first you try uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say later so see here if I'm trying to solve this question what what is going to happen let me uh, let me subtract 4 from both sides x square plus 4 all right minus 4 here also and 0 minus 4 here also so plus 4 minus 4 cancel up and I'm getting here x square equals to minus 4 oh my god now how could how can I solve it now x is going to be inside the root minus 4 and have you ever seen any real number inside the root as a negative number never it's not possible in the real number system all right x equals to under root minus 4 here the real number system makes its hands off all right it cannot give the solution because inside the root never a real number can accommodate negative sign all right so we get stop after this how to proceed then a real hero come named Euler he give a new method to solve this type of the problem all right he, he, he gave a mathematics the first time in the history all right a new symbol called I all right I in Greek is called Iota all right and this sometimes also uh, refer as a the first word of imaginary all right and this I is equals to in, inside the root minus one so when he give this uh, later this symbol to mathematics then we become able to solve this type of the problem all right so here it is X and I already told you all right it's a minus 1 so if I'm squaring it then I square is going to be minus 1 so here it is inside the root minus 4 all right so the same thing can be written as minus 1 times 4 further x is going to be now in the place of minus 1 I'm going to put here I square so it's going to be you know I square times and 4 is the square of 2 all right and now I is coming outside as well as 2 is coming outside so 2i so here x is going to be 2i here we give the solution we had got stuck and we now proceed to x equals to 2i now what is this i and why I'm writing a imaginary or iota these all things so once we understand the concept of this iota what is iota 
then we can define a new number system uh, or you can say we can extend our real number system uh, to a new level all right and we're going to start a new number system called complex number now what the heck is this complex number well complex number uh, I will simply say any number generally we represent complex number by Z W like like this type of the symbols all right so let's say Z is a complex number and is written in in the format uh, like a plus IB here this a and B are the real numbers these are real numbers all right and here this complete thing you know this first part is called real part and we generally write it like re real part of z uh, z is a uh, uh, we represent this like this right re z means real part of the uh, this complex number z similarly this part is called imaginary part imaginary part and generally we represent this like imaginary im of complex number z all right so this is real part this is uh, imaginary part uh, for example let me give you one more like z equals to let's say 2 plus 3i so here 2 plus 3i what do you understand this is the real part and this is the imaginary part all right real part of uh, complex number z and imaginary part of the complex number z here 2 and 3 I already told you these are simply real numbers all right and one more thing I want to tell you here uh, I'm writing here imaginary I'm writing here complex so uh, you know whenever you see this imaginary number or imaginary thing then you don't think like it's something like uh, mystical or fictitious or something unreal it's not like that all right uh, so keep that in mind and similarly here complex it doesn't mean it's a super comp uh, super difficult or something like that it doesn't mean it's just a it's a just a new number method all right you don't think complex number means, means it's very very difficult number <laughs> it's not like that and imaginary means like it's a fiction you know <laughs> sci-fi movies <laughs> anyways uh, so uh, keep that thing in mind and one more thing let me tell you uh, you might had uh, uh, heard a little about this complex number when your teacher was teaching a quadratic equation uh, in you know quadratic equation something like x square ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero where our d discriminant means b square minus 4ac and uh, whenever d was less than zero then what your teacher had told you when discriminant is less than zero the roots are roots are imaginary this thing you had learned I hope you, you you remember you know so whenever the roots means discriminant value were less than zero that time roots were imaginary and you got to stop after that you know now you don't have to stop you you can proceed further right you can solve uh, you can find out the value of the of the the, the X in, in that quadratic equation right uh, in your in your junior level you might have got stuck uh, now now you can easily solve the, those kinds of quadratic equation where your discriminant is getting less than zero all right this was another piece of information about the complex number before beginning and you know sometime uh, some people in um, represent this complex number something like this also uh, some something like uh, a comma b as a other pair also that time what you have to understand that this a part is representing the real part and B is representing the uh, the, 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 the the imaginary part all right so it doesn't matter how you're representing if, if someone is representing like 2 comma 3 then also uh, you need to understand that time now, I'm not talking about the coordinate geometry now all right uh, so that time this 2 is representing the real part and this 3 is representing the imaginary part all right uh, but most of the time we'll be dealing like this it's better better to represent I don't know how your teacher is representing or teaching you uh, but uh, I, I like to solve in this way rather than in order pair all right and few things you must 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 know all right uh, better you even note down about about complex number first thing every real number every real number is complex number every number you know doesn't matter whether it is 2 or it's 3 it's 5 it's minus 9 or whatever you can you can write this as a complex number see 2 plus 0 times i similarly this real number 3 plus 0 times i similarly you know this uh, let's say this minus 9 minus 9 is 
minus 9 plus 0 times i. Here real part is minus 9, but the imaginary part is here, this one, 0 times i. So 0 when you multiply it gets 0. So keep in mind that every real number is complex number. Now the second important thing you must have to understand, 0 is both, is both purely imaginary, you can see purely imaginary as well as purely real purely real number right so uh, zero is also a complex number which is purely imaginary as well as purely real number how let's say zero plus zero times i in this case this is uh, you know i mean i mean zero will multiply when this this comp uh, this i or iota this whole part is going to be zero that can be neglected at that time zero becomes just like just like a real you know just like a real and if you are considering this as a zero this as a nothing you know when you think this is nothing this part is nothing then that time this will work just like a complex number I mean I mean just like an imaginary number all right so depends what you're thinking so when you first think this imaginary part as a zero nothing that time this will work as a purely real number and when you consider uh, this real part as nothing I mean zero that time this work as a purely imaginary so that's why zero is uh, can be can be said to be both uh, purely imaginary as well as purely uh, a real number right now the third very important thing you need to understand uh, in the case of purely imaginary number in the case of purely imaginary number the real part real part must be equals to zero but imaginary part may or may not be zero right so in the case of purely imaginary number real part must be zero it's always zero but imaginary part may or may not be zero uh, I mean I mean I mean let me show you here uh, like let's say it's uh, it's completely imaginary number all right so it will be zero plus three I in this case where you're looking the real part the real part is completely zero you know but the imaginary part is here yes it's it's it, it is existing here imaginary part is existing but sometime uh, I said zero next concept you must have to understand is uh, let me write it here every real number is uh, purely real every real number is purely real and purely real number is always real real number <laughs> quite confusing all right so what what I mean that every every real number let's say 2 minus 3 minus 0 0.55 whatever you say these all are purely real number you know because the imaginary part is not existing here, you know, 2 plus 0 times i, if you do, means this is nothing. So it's purely real number, keep in mind. I mean, to simply say that uh, a, a real number, you know, like this, real number is purely real, right, purely real. And if, anyway, if you see any purely real number, that's definitely a real, you know, that's definitely a real or simply say real number, whatever you say, all right? But imaginary number may be uh, purely imaginary or may not be. And there is one pure imaginary number which is zero. And next thing, zero is not imaginary, all right? Zero is not imaginary. It's quite interesting. See, every real number is purely real, all right? And every purely real is a real number, but imaginary number may or may not be purely imaginary. And there is only one pure, purely imaginary number which is zero, and zero is not imaginary number because zero exists you know so from here one more thing we get to understand that imaginary number do not exist all right imaginary number do not exist but they really have a very very great use in in mathematics a great application we have of complex number or imaginary number uh, in, in our mathematics all right so this was a short brief about the complex number and later we're going to learn more and more about this all right so Please uh, subscribe the channel, hit the like button on this video and I'll see you in the next video. Alright, goodbye.